Hey guys, Mohan Bobert here and in today's video I'm going to show you how a million dollar business owner will work for you for free. Let's get to it. So hey, welcome to another video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, this channel is all about how to buy and grow businesses and we usually look for businesses that are already existing for a while and, and you can buy them and get income from day one and ideally you have someone to operate the business for you. So you have a management team in place and you're just basically um, responsible for the vision and the goals of the business and you have someone run, running the day-to-day -day for you. So if you're not familiar with the process, go and look at my other videos, but basically I'm assuming that you're someone looking to buy businesses or at least thinking about the idea of going and buying businesses. So this video is going to be very specific on something in the process of buying businesses. So I'm assuming you're going out there, you're putting yourself out there, you're looking for deals, you're having conversation with business owners, you're building rapport, you're getting financials, you're ideally sending offers, and ideally you're getting to a point where your deal flow is getting to one or two deals that you can actually close. And then I wanna show you something really cool in a way where you can literally get the owner of that business, your dream business, to work for you for free for at least a period of time. So after you're going to a point where you're getting the offer accepted, you're starting your due diligence, ideally you then buy the business, you want to have a period where the owner of the business, the seller, is working for you for at least some kind of a transition period. And don't be afraid from being doing those things because this is very normal process in, in the world of acquisition. It's very normal that the owner will stay with you after you buy the business. So basically you can then learn or your general manager can learn the process and literally just shadow the owner and to learn everything about that business. Now that period where it works for you can be negotiated and it's up to you during the negotiation to figure out what's the best terms for you to for the owner to stay with you in the business. And this is how you get a business, a million dollar business owner to work for you for free because he's going to stay in the business for a while and the more he'll stay, obviously if he's going to stay for a long time, he'll want a salary, but at least for the transition period, so let's say he's staying for three or six months, you can negotiate where he's only getting paid from basically the, the acquisition price and the cost and he's there to literally train you as part of the agreement. So you can have like a very legit executive to work for you for free and show you everything about your ideal business. This is amazing. You can literally go into a business that someone built for many, many years and learn everything you need to know. Many times in sectors you know nothing about because you don't need to know anything about it because you have the owner who's there day to day who can show you everything from A to Z and you just need to be there, shadow him and just copy whatever he's doing. Now it's very, very important to have that period no matter what because you want to have introduction to key customers, key suppliers and you want to learn and, and just build the same relationships that that owner had, especially if he's very the business is very dependent on the owner and to the relationships that the owner have with other people that are related to the business. You want to have those introductions between you as the new owner or your new manager to those key people in, in the business system because otherwise many times businesses are, are just about people and you want to make sure that same relationship will continue after you buy that business. Now, the time that the owner will stay with you or not, depending mostly on, I guess, the complexity of the business and just your understanding of the sector. So the less you know about the sector, the more you'll want the owner to stay with you. And the same goes with just the business in general of how complex it is. And just you need to find a balance between your experience, whatever the seller is willing to give, and then to find the right time and transition period for him to stay and help you uh, basically with the transition period. I guess as an average time to, to look at three months is very, very reasonable. Um, even up to a year is very, very reasonable to ask from the owner to stay and help you. Uh, I, I guess longer than that you don't want because you want to eventually be responsible and the owner, you want even the employees, you want them to look at you or your new general manager is the one responsible and they don't want to always see that that old owner still there and a shorter period can be against you as well because you want to make sure you learn as much as you can about that business and also ideally you want to negotiate in your agreement uh, at least an understanding that you can call that owner whenever you want if you have a specific question or you need another introduction or yeah I guess just any question you have about the business you want to have the option to talk to that owner maybe even if it means that you need to pay him some kind of hourly rate uh, as a consultant so yeah that's that sums up this um, video very short video all about 
the understanding that any business that you're looking to buy, first of all, even if it's your dream business, I think it's awesome. Just the fact that, and thought that the owner of your dream business can literally teach you everything from A to Z. Just compare that to starting a business from scratch and trying to learn everything about specific sector and trying to, to get to a point where you have access to suppliers and customers. You can have all that from the owner that you just bought the business from and learn everything you need. You will learn more about any business that you buy, uh, compare, compare that to go and start everything from scratch, you can learn literally in two, three months of a transition period with the right owner, more about that business and sector, then like that could take you years if you're trying to start those things from scratch. So take advantage of that, make sure you have at least at least few months of transition period. Obviously it depends, right? I, we had online businesses where we had like a week of transition period just because there was no need for that owner at all. And it's all good, but you need to make sure that you understand the business after you buy it and make sure that the business won't collapse if the owner is not there to help you. Um, so yeah, that sums up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you didn't yet. Like the video to help me grow the channel. Share with your friends. And see the links in the description below. Join our free business mind mastermind on Facebook. And fill your details in the survey below. And let me know of just any idea you have for new videos and new topics. I'm trying to upload as much as I can. And I want to share as much as I can with you. Um, yeah, and I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And I'll see you soon.